Hello and welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can implement implicit weight in a robot framework. Now, to implement implicit weight in robot framework, you have uh, the keywords available in the Selenium library already, and you can use those keywords to set up implicit weight as per your needs. Now, the implicit weight keywords that we are going to cover are the set selenium implicit weight, get selenium implicit weight, and set browser implicit weight. So these are the implicit weight uh, keywords that are available that you can utilize to set up or implement implicit weight. Now, set selenium implicit weight is the weight or implicit weight that uh, is set uh, and used by selenium. So that's basically the global weight or global implicit weight. So it depends. So for example, you define it at the Selenium library level and use that um, uh, library across all your test cases, then that will be applicable. That implicit weight will be applicable uh, across all your test cases that are that is utilizing that particular library. Um, if you are setting up implicit weight, selenium implicit weight in a particular test case or a test script, it will be only applicable to that particular script, all the elements in that particular script. Now, get selenium impl implicit weight is the uh, keyword to get uh, the implicit weight or uh, the timeout that you have set for the implicit weight using the set selenium implicit weight or even the default implicit weight that has been set. So default implicit weight in Selenium library is zero. So you, if you want to set any uh, other impl implicit weight other than default, you have to use the command or the keyword set Selenium implicit weight. Now set browser implicit weight is exactly same as set Selenium implicit weight. The only difference is that set browser implicit weight is only applicable to the current browser. As soon as there is a new browser that is launched, it's not applicable in the new instance or in the new browser. That's the only difference between set Selenium implicit weight and set browser implicit weight. So for example, you want to just debug um, one script, you can set up set browser implicit weight in a particular browser um, and uh, you can debug your script there. Uh, rather than setting the set selenium implicit weight, which will be applicable globally. So that's that's what the difference between selenium implicit weight and the browser implicit weight is. Now, if we go to selenium library right here in the robotframework.org slash selenium library, um, you will see selenium, selenium library keywords and we'll just go through um, set selenium implicit weight so we'll go through these keywords and see what all arguments it accepts right so set selenium implicit weight it accepts the value and value is basically uh, the time say for example one second or five second or ten second so you have the keyword and then two spaces uh, followed by two spaces and 10 s for 10 seconds right so or 5 s for five seconds um, if you want to you know like dig more details into uh, what exactly how the implementation is you can walk through this library here um, and go through all the details that are being specified so now here you can see that uh, the value can be given as a number uh, that can be considered as seconds or human readable strings like one second or one s right so that's the value that it accepts only one argument um, then uh, get selenium implicit weight so get uh, selenium implicit weight is basically will return the value or the timeout that has been set by the uh, set selenium implicit weight and uh, set browser implicit weight will be exactly similar to set selenium implicit weight but it only affects the current browser the same thing as we have seen in the um, slides now coming back to the uh, pie charm so here i have uh, already implemented uh, the selenium implicit weight so you here you can see i have defined a scalar variable right default implicit weight 
and then um, equal to and then two spaces there right so what I'm doing is I am first showing you what is the default implicit weight that is set at the global level so I'm using get selenium implicit weight keyword um, to get that value and storing it into the variable default implicit weight now this variable will have that value and it will be printed in the logs or in the result file then i'm setting up selenium implicit weight to 20 seconds okay so set selenium implicit weight is the keyword and then two spaces and then 20 s for seconds okay and then again i am doing a uh, get selenium implicit weight so i'm again using this command to show you that what is the new value that has been set as an implicit weight when i did set implicit weight to 20 second okay so this argument or uh, sorry this variable uh, custom implicit weight will have the value as 20 second and all these further web elements here they will have the global implicit weight as 20 seconds so what will happen is if say for example this web element right so say this web element um, sorry not these ones uh, but these web elements have xpath and on this particular page uh, this web element takes more than say 20 seconds to appear on the page only then you will get an exception uh, it will wait for 20 seconds to find the web element that you have specified in the script if you haven't specified the implicit weight as 20 second and it's a default implicit weight it will only wait for uh, it won't wait like because the default weight is zero seconds and it will instantly fail and um, if it is not able to find the web element and throw an exception so let's run this script okay so because I have set the implicit weight as 20 second and this here it will be able to find all the web elements because I have given the correct path to all the web elements. So it won't wait 20 seconds to find any of the web elements. So let's execute this particular script. So robot hyphen uh, space hyphen D space results where you want to store the results. Uh, results is the folder that you have specified here and then where your script is. So tests is the folder and implicit weight dot robot is where my script is so i'll run this and let's see the execution so we'll analyze the results and then we'll see the details there All right so it has executed uh, let's see the report and you can see that even though implicit weight is 20 second because all the web elements um, were found then there was no wait right there was no waiting for the web element so here if you can see in the right hand side this is the time elapsed time that is shown right so it has scrolled the element so you can see that there is just milliseconds 339 milli millisecond and then it has moved to the other web element then moved to other web element and then close the browser right so there is no wait as such or the implicit weight that has been set now let's see what is the default implicit weight so default implicit weight in selenium web driver is zero second okay so if you see get selenium implicit weight is zero second so there is no weight implicit weight at all defined um, with set selenium implicit weight so we have set up 20 seconds as the selenium implicit weight and now you can see custom implicit weight has been returned as 20 seconds right so now in future if any of the web elements are going to take like more than 20 seconds or the, the script is not able to find that particular web element it will wait for 20 seconds before failing or before throwing an exception now let's make this web uh, xpath invalid okay or i'll just make the last one as invalid so it is not able to it won't be able to find this particular x path and it should wait for 20 seconds before throwing an exception so let me run this script again 
and because implicit weight is set as 20 second the custom weight it should wait on the page for 20 second before throwing an exception right so we'll analyze that in the report that it is actually you can see here it's actually waiting um, this time for 20 second it will wait for 20 second before it will complete the execution so it's trying to find out this particular web element which is not there on the page and then it failed right so it has took the screenshot and let's analyze the report now so it, you can see it has failed it couldn't found this web element right and you can see elapsed time is 28 seconds this time because i have specified the implicit weight as 20 seconds so which means that on this particular script or web page if any web element is not visible uh, or script is not able to find that web element it will wait for 20 second and then fail right so if you see here mouse up so you see the elapsed time it's 20 seconds 0.801 right so this 20 is basically the implicit weight that it waited for before throwing an exception that it can't found that particular web element now going back to the script if i don't set up this implicit weight and run this script right so uh, just default implicit weight so i'm not setting custom implicit weight let's see how quickly the script fails because there is no implicit weight which is zero seconds so this time it will not wait for 20 second and as soon as it will not be able to find that web element it will fail the script right so you can see that it has failed it and let's go to the report and here you can see the elapsed time is 13 seconds right let's expand the results and here you can see the elapsed time is 00871 right so this um, proves that uh, with the implicit weight uh, you can specify the timeout for all the web elements on the page that are taking a bit of time to appear and in that case it will be applicable to all the web elements in the script so it's sort of global and if it will wait for the if it is not able to find the web element in one or two seconds or five seconds it will wait until the timeout that is specified in the implicit weight so in our case we had specified the timeout as 20 second it depends uh, how slow your application is or or what you are trying to achieve you can specify the implicit weight accordingly so that is pretty much all about uh, the implicit weight uh, in robot framework selenium library hope it is clear um, how you are going to set up selenium implicit weight how you are going to get the, the value that you have set up in the selenium uh, implicit weight how you will set the browser implicit weight so setting up the browser implicit weight is exactly similar to the set uh, set selenium implicit weight um, because uh, you just need to change it to set uh, set browser implicit weight so you can just change it to uh, set browser implicit weight and it will uh, will be applicable to that particular browser instance only so that's pretty much all about implicit weight in robot framework hope you like the tutorial please do share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon for further updates Thank you very much for watching.